Hi folks, I'm Sohan on Android.com where we get hoi on Android every day. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make a backup ROM and also restore your ROM uh, using Torp Recovery. Uh, for, before we begin this, you will have to have a rooted Android device uh, with Torp Recovery installed. I'll have a Note 4 here for example. But you can use this method for any Android device with root and Torp Recovery installed. Now if you don't know what that is, you don't have your phone rooted, um, you will first have to go root your phone and install Torp Recovery. Uh, if you have that, uh, we can go ahead and make a backup ROM here. Um, now backing up ROM backs up everything including your apps, your app data, your settings, your Wi-Fi passwords, um, all your apps. Basically it saves everything. It's like a, a mirror image of your operating system that you're using right now. The only thing it won't save is your personal files and photos such as your uh, baby's videos, photos and stuff like that. Uh, those are you know on your uh, storage disk and those are not touched uh, whenever you back up or restore. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go do this baby. Alright guys so let's go ahead and boot into Torp Recovery. Now there is, um, usually for Samsung phones, you can go ahead and uh, power off your phone and hold down volume up, uh, center home in the power button, hold it down uh, for about a couple seconds and you will enter uh, recovery. Also for Nexus devices, it's usually volume down and power. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to enter uh, tour recovery just using the quick boot. Um, before we begin, of course, you should have a rooted Android device. If you don't have a rooted Android device, go ahead and root it. Uh, when you root it, uh, it might have installed Torp Recovery. Um, if you don't know, make sh you can try booting into Torp Recovery. Uh, if you don't have Torp Recovery, you can use this app called Flashify. Um, I'll have a link to it on my site. Um, so go ahead and install Torp Recovery. So if you have done, uh, if you have rooted device with a Torp Recovery installed, go ahead and go to the Play Store and download Quick uh, Boot. This will allow you to boot into Recovery easily. Um, so go ahead and do that and go choose recovery and make sure you hit grant if super user requests uh, pops up and this will boot you into Tor Recovery. I'm using Note 4 but you can do this on any Android devices uh, with uh, Tor Recovery installed. Alright once you're in Torp um, you can go ahead and go to backup and choose system data um, you don't need cache and also you can go ahead and choose uh, different storage. Now, if you do have a uh, micro, if you have a, a, a flash drive and uh, you don't want to take up space in your internal storage or the micro SD card on your phone, and also uh, if you want to have it you know, in a separate location, so if you, in case you lose your phone, you can go ahead and get a new phone and restore uh, all of your stuff. Then you can get this thing called OTG cable. It's like two, three bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link to it. Uh, and then you can go ahead and connect any uh, flash drive here. So I'm going to actually use this because I don't want to take up space. And Torp Recovery is great. Also works on the latest clock mod, but you know, Torp is the one, first one who implemented this. So I have it connected here. And if I give it a couple seconds here, um, you'll see that I can choose USB storage. I still have 8 gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and make a backup ROM to my uh, USB flash drive here. All right, and also you can go ahead and set the backup name. So I'm gonna, uh, it all automatically fills out for you. I have infamous ROM running, so that's fine. Or you can name it something else. And then go ahead and swipe, and this will back up uh, the ROM, and it will show you uh, how much it's taking. And this way, I can have all my stuff, all my backup ROMs uh, in my USB flash drive for all my different phones, all my different devices. Um, it's a lot easier to organize also, it doesn't take up space in your internal storage. But you can go ahead and also use your internal storage or micro SD card, uh, it's not a problem. And I will be back when this is uh, done. Alright guys, it is almost done. You can see uh, where it is actually uh, storing to. My backup folder is USB storage because I'm using a USB. Uh, it will use be under Torp Backups directory. Um, so if you're using uh, your internal storage, it will be in Torp Backups. Uh, and then there's some random uh, characters and then your uh, folder name that you named which is 2014 blah blah and sometimes your screen might turn off um, this is to save the battery life just turn the uh, hit the power key and then 
go ahead and swipe to unlock and you'll see that it's still running also make sure you have enough battery um i probably should have like at least 50 percent but uh you know 24 i'm running out of battery but uh, it should be just fine because this has a big battery um once this is done go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and take your uh, flash drive you know somewhere safe that you'll find it or if you did it on your internal storage or your micro sd card um, it's on your phone and also you can go ahead and copy the whole uh, tour backups folder to your computer also I'll do it that way so backup is done and you're pretty much done okay uh, but I'm also going to show you how to uh, restore the ROM um, so for example uh, you install the new ROM it doesn't boot then uh, you can go ahead and use the manual buttons to get into Torp recovery uh, it may be different for your phone since this is a universal guide uh, but let me go ahead and show it to you um, manually so let's say you end up in a boot loop and you want to get into Torp recovery All right, since you can't boot into the OS go ahead and plug the battery back in and then do the buttons for your phone for all the Samsung phone is volume up center home and the power hold it for about until it boots hold it for a little bit and then let it go and this will boot you into back into Torp recovery and let me go ahead and plug this back in here all right so if you end up in a boot loop you're going to go ahead and go into Torp recovery all right and then you're going to go ahead and go to restore and then go ahead and choose your storage if you have your backup in your internal storage you can go ahead and choose that micro sd card or usb storage like i did i hit ok and you'll be able to find all of your uh, backups here and i'm going to go ahead and restore my uh infamous actually you know what i'm going to go ahead and restore my uh i backed up my stock rom so i'm going to go ahead and actually switch to stock rom uh, to show you that uh it will restore everything on my stock rom so i'm going to go ahead and a swipe to restore and that's pretty much it folks and this will start restoring your system it should take five to ten minutes when it's done go ahead and reboot and you'll be whatever you just whatever ROM you just restored um so this way you can go ahead and back up uh, multiple different ROMs for example you can go ahead and install Sinogen mod 12 uh, maybe infamous maybe some other ROMs and uh, you know every time you have a complete system after you sign in with all of your apps um, you can go ahead and make a backup ROM and then go ahead and try another ROM. Uh, that way, something goes wrong. Sometimes, you know, GPS breaks or something, or a CM12 is not, is still in beta or something. Your Bluetooth doesn't work, but you need to use it. Um, you can go into Torp Recovery, restore your uh, old ROM that has it working. Uh, also, make a backup ROM of whatever ROM you're working on if you want to come back. And that's pretty much how it works. This way, you can have multiple copies of different uh, operating systems or ROMs on your phone and I will be back when this is done. All right, guys, uh, so it says restore complete. Um, for some reason, I got failed. Um, sometimes that can happen, uh, but don't worry about it. Let me go ahead and try to boot it and uh, ignore that warning. And um, do not install when it asks you. And hopefully uh, it worked even though I got an error. I'm not sure why I got the error, uh, this is the first time ever um, but uh, it should work there we go um, it, it might not work there are times when um, if you're installing like an older firmware uh, so I, I actually upgraded my bootloader so that could be why it's not working um, but you can see that I, actually it, it did work there you go so I've got all my apps back uh, it's my stock ROM and it actually did work let me go ahead and go to about phone here um, so I think I can just ignore the error the kernel didn't res uh, restore for some reason but everything else worked so I'm not sure what happened there uh, but I got my stock ROM back and it could it could have something to do with the firmware so when you back up and restore ROMs make sure for the Samsung phones um, you're not restoring an older like 4. Dot, you know 4.0 ROM on a uh, after you've upgraded your uh, firmware to 4.4.4 .4 .4. uh, but everything seems to be working fine I have all the apps back that I installed uh, back with my stock ROM 
And that's how you can back up and restore ROMs. Um, yeah, that's about it. So make sure you back up ROMs and restore ROMs. And uh, you should be able to restore, restore your phone easily the next time um, something happens to your phone or, you know, when you mess up with the uh, custom ROMs. And that's it. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, backing up ROM can save you a ton of headaches. If something goes wrong, you can go ahead and restore your ROM back. Um, after trying a new ROM, you don't like it, you can go back to the stock ROM, your custom ROM before it. Um, so it is a great idea to make a backup ROM. Also, if you do lose your phone or something, um, then hopefully you've saved your backup ROM into your computer or onto a, a flash drive or something, then you can go ahead and get a new phone Reach your ROM back, uh, get all of your contacts, your all of your apps, all of your app data uh, back instantly. Which is one of the reasons why you should root your phone, just even just for the backup and uh, restore feature, which is better than anything that Samsung or LG or uh, you know whoever offers. Um, it's better than that because it's a lot simpler. Uh, it works great. So I hope you learned a lot. Um, and uh, yes, I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, um, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and stay on Android.